Hey street team, welcome back to Danny TV where we bring what's going on in these streets to your TV. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Danielle. So make sure that you guys like, comment, and subscribe because y'all know we're about to go up. Now, first things first, your girl made an appearance on the Impact Atlanta episode seven and I knew kind of like, okay, when I was there and I found out that they were filming for BT, I was like, it's a slight little chance that I may be on this episode. And your girl was on there for a split little second, but okay, this is my first time on BT Plus and it definitely will not be my last time. This episode was a good episode. Um, it kept me on the edge of my seat. So we start off with Tay and Ari and Chirac for Tay's family reunion. So Tay goes and he visits the old shop that he used to work in and then they're putting up little pictures with memories from the shop, which I love that they add kind of the social media factor in the editing for this show and they add pictures letting us know what they're talking about because it's easy for someone to explain something but it's also giving us that um, visual picture. Tay visits his granny um, and then he also sees his great granny and to me it's giving black don't crack because Tay's family genes are nice like his mama is cute, the granny, the great granny and then the granny like has inches. I'm not talking weed like real life inches so it's giving black don't crack. Um, I like seeing Tay with the family dynamic and him showing his family and not being ashamed of his family and i also liked him showing where he came from so it gave us a picture like okay if eric and tay can do it from chicago i can do it too so me watching that scene it definitely gave motivation for sure tay's scene was mostly about family and then he also um went to the family reunion and it showed them dancing and all that stuff and interacting so that pretty much sums up tay in this episode we're gonna move on to ari so ari is in chicago as well and ari is basically out here fighting her inner trauma, childhood trauma. She out here battling demons, okay? So, um, Ari goes to the old house that she used to live in. It was like a duplex. And she said that that's where her and her family went where they had, when they had nowhere to go. So she's showing us the rooms and like how small the rooms were. Um, she said that they had like mattresses on the floor and then she had the nerve to have a small room, but then she had let her friend move in. And then she also showed us like the window in her room. And like, when you look outside the window, the only thing that you could see was a brick wall. So it was very nice to see where she came from um, and again, giving you motivation for sure. Ari also went to the hospital that her brother Kyle died in and then the hospital that your son was born in. So that is showing like two pivotal moments in her life. Um, Ari expressed how Kyle was her person and that was the person that was literally always there for her. Um, she was very vulnerable this episode. Like she cried, she broke down. But to me, I got from it, Ari was really trying to become a better version of herself. Like she know that she had those inner issues and she couldn't be a better version of herself if she keeps holding on to that trauma. Like she gotta face it and let it go. Um, Ari and her sisters did go to counseling and she expressed how she did not like her older sister Ashley. So what's so interesting about that is Ari and Ashley have a seven year difference and Ari was like, I felt like, you know, that she never liked me. Like we never had any sister moments. And her sister was like, you know, from my standpoint, I was playing mama. Like you were a kid and you're seven years younger than me. So I'm up making sure that you have breakfast, breakfast, lunch and dinner while their mother was working. So it was like, I don't have time to have these sister moments because I'm playing mama for these younger kids. And, you know, and I needed love, too. So maybe I couldn't give you that love because I was trying to find that love myself. And it all like made perfect sense to me because a lot of times when you have more than one sibling and it's like an older child, the older child takes on the role while the parents are at work to watch the younger kids. And it's like, that doesn't kind of give them a childhood and it's not their responsibility 
to watch the younger kids that their parents had but of course you know that's pretty much how it goes so i honestly saw both sides um from both points but i do commend ari because even though she felt away towards her sister over the years from following her on social media she still did for her sister and stuff like that so even though they had those internal issues she didn't disinclude her sister from anything from what i saw on social media but i'm happy that you know she made this episode with her storyline about her family and showing people what really happens in the black community or in families in general and i like how they really focused on you know fixing their issues going to a therapist normalizing a therapist and sending that message to people that may be watching. What I did find funny though is that the therapist that was in this episode is the same therapist that Charlie, Waka Flocka, and Tammy's daughter goes to on their reality TV show. And I like the therapist because I know on Waka and Tammy's show, she be keeping it real and she does not hold back. And I feel like in this episode, she did the same exact thing. Overall, Ari scenes were very touching. Um, my eyes got a little watery. I shed a couple of tears when she talked about the love and relationship that she had with her brother. Um, it seems like it was very special. But overall, I am very proud of Ari because she has came a long way. So I'm, I'm happy to see you facing them inner childhood issues, girl. Moving on to Jada. So Jada had her premiere party for A Bid for Love. That was a movie that she was in. Um, I actually was at the premiere. Y'all see me right there. Okay. Yeah. So um, the premiere party was good. I liked how they had it set up. And by the way, if you guys want to see more about what happened at the premiere party, I have a video on my channel. Um, so go and scroll down and you'll be able to see that video because they cut a lot of scenes out um they didn't really show everything that happened but i guess like they have so much content they need to like get everything out because i think it's only one episode left i think they said they were only filming for like eight episodes but okay jada had the movie premiere that was nice um, Jada is face facing issues with her family as well. So we have a scene with her and her mother at the Wait a Man warehouse and they were like crying about the sister. I was confused because it was like, okay, last week y'all repaired the relationship and stuff like that. And it was like, you know, I want you with me. You know, I'd rather have you with me than anyone else. But then we jumped to this week and from what I took from the edited scenes was that your sister needed you. And then you shut her out. And it's like, okay, so how do y'all go from last week repairing a relationship and I got you, you my sister, blah, 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 blah. But now this week when she's reaching out to you and, you know, she needs you, you're saying that you had to shut her out. And it's kind of like, pick one. Either y'all gonna be cool and you gonna be there for her or you're not. So I was like just a little bit um, confused because it's like, well, clearly the sister needed somebody and... This is your time to be a sister to her and you're unavailable. I think that was honestly like pretty much it. And like the sister jazz, her shop was closed. So it's like clearly she really do need y'all in this time. But I think actually that they called her and like she wasn't picking up the phone. But Jada had mentioned like the day before she could tell that jazz really wanted to talk but she shut her out. That pretty much sums up um, Jada in this episode. Lakia was not in the episode, and at this point, like, I'm not trying to be mean, but I'm kind of like, why is she even on the show? Because I feel like she gets the short end of the stick. Like, she's a cast member, but we're not gonna show y'all nothing. Like, literally was not in this whole episode whatsoever. Um, and then in all of the episodes, she probably get one minute if that or two minutes of screen time and then we never see her again. Like this show pretty much revolves around Jada, Ari, and Tay. Like this is their show. Um, and then Des, again, had a short storyline this week. She went out to like dinner with her dad and her manager and they were talking about the meeting that she had last week with the record label and what they thought you know about her being signed to this record label and that pretty much is it like that sums up the episode so y'all we made it to episode seven let's see what happens next week because next week 
um, it's a preview with Ari saying Jada had texted her and Jada was like, why? And then we have a scene with Jada, her sister Jazz, and Des. And Jada was like, you know, she made a post saying something about how y'all watch out for y'all baby daddies. And her sister was like, oh, so Ari is like being shady. So I don't know what that is about, but we shall see. Also, Ari is saying like her Jada go being weird again. So at this point to me, I just feel like that they two different people and they don't need to be friends. Like y'all can stay high and by and be cordial, but each of y'all have y'all own group of people and nobody has time for weirdness because I know who I think is weird in the situation, but I'm not gonna say all that. Let's dive into Social Corner. Let me see what tweets are coming up. Jada gets more unlikable each episode. Tay mom, his grandmother and great grandmother all ages so well. These ladies look great. At this point, Jada just needs to use the internet for business purposes only. She seeks too much validation from the internet. Yeah, it's giving, girl, you got all this money and you got a business. If you don't start worried about what complete strangers are saying about you, like, seriously. Why would Jada show up in time for pajamas and all her friends got on regular pajamas? Y'all, she is wild. I feel like social media always judges people over their appearance. Clearly, the public's perception of Ari was all wrong. I've been said this. Sis is a cancer. Cancers are loving people, not haters. She just has a rest stamp face. That's all. Don't get me wrong. I love me some Jada Wada. That's my girl, but I have to call a spade a spade. Sis doesn't hang around no one on her level. They have to be beneath her and always praise her. Shall look. This show is really amazing, honestly, and BET needs to pick it up, not just BET+. Plus. I second that because I really enjoyed this show. Well, yeah, that completes this reaction video to the Impact Atlanta episode 7. Um, thank you guys for watching. As always, make sure that y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And comment, comment, comment. Let me know what y'all think. And do me a favor. Leave some comments and let me know who y'all would like to see me interview from this cast. Now, personally, I want to interview Ari or Tay, okay? That's who I'm aiming for. But let me know in the comments who y'all would like to see me interview. As always, thank you guys for watching and I will see y'all next week.